Uh, in this video we're going to take a look at another one of the node red core nodes and that is the change node and to do that I've configured uh, a series of uh, examples using the change node but before we take a look at these examples let's just quickly go through the the change node so here it is over here and I just drag it over onto the workspace and I open it up Now the default configuration is to set the message payload. Now the change node can be used for modifying the incoming message objects so you can be changing the uh, the payload, the topic or you can create uh, additional objects or diff additional properties uh, for the message object. Now on the left the, the number of things you can do you can set, you can change, you can delete and you can move and you can move the or set the payload, you can set the topic just by changing the payload here and change that to topic or you, if the payload has got a property you can set the individual property by typing the name call it name like that there and we're going to look at that in a, in a few examples below Now you can add uh, multiple rules, so this is a rule to set the message payload and you can add additional rules, just if you scroll down here you can add one here and you can set that one to maybe change so you can change the payload from something to something else and let's say we'll look at that in a second so you can carry on, you can have several loop rules and we look at configuring several rules here and you can't see it very clearly here but this here lets you delete the rule so we can remove it and we can delete that one and say so we can add it back in using that okay so now let's go and look at uh, some examples of using the, the change node so all our examples use an inject node to inject a, a payload and a topic or a topic should I say uh, into the change node and we have two debug nodes and we can see the payload or we can see the message object before and the message object after uh, the change node. So the first one is a very simple one and we're going to inject a payload called test and the topic is census uh, sensor one and all the change node is going to do is to set the message payload to test test so it's going to come in as test and we're going to set it to test test so that's very very simple so make sure it's deployed and then we just test it and you can see here came in as test and it came out as test test of the change node so this is from here so our next example uses the change action and what we've got coming in here is a topic sensors and this is four C's if you can see it and sensor one and we're sending in test data and what our change node is going to do in this case is we're going to change the topic message.topic and we're going to use a regular expression we're going to search for sensors and that's a dot star, so it's a regular expression. I'm not going to cover regular expressions, but you can search using regular expressions. And we're going to replace that with house. So basically, it's going to eliminate all of this and replace it with house. So we should finish up with house sensor one when we're, we're done. So let's do it and clear that, deploy it and injecting into that and we can see here the topic going in was census 4 cs s1 and coming out it was house s1 which is what we expected so the next example we're going to illustrate I'm going to illustrate using uh, three rules and we're going to do various things to the the message and the data coming in is the same data we had before and these are our rules here we're going to change the topic like we did before and we're going to set it to replace it with house and then we're going to create a new property on the message message URL 
and we're going to set it to the same as the topic so we're going to add a different property set to the same as the topic and then finally we're going to delete the message dot topic so the topic won't exist when we when we're finished so three actions change set and delete on the incoming message object so again make sure it's deployed clear that and inject and coming into it we've got the topic and we've got the payload and coming out we haven't changed the payload all we've done is change the topic but notice the topics disappeared and it's replaced with the URL here and that was the <clears throat> that was that rule there so if we don't want to delete the topic we want to keep the topic we just remove that action there and deploy it again and inject and this time we finish up with the URL set to that and we also finish up with the topic set to the same value okay now coming down for the the next one and what we're going to illustrate is the move and the move basically does a copy and delete so we're going to start with the same data and the move is going to move the message dot topic to the message URL so whatever the topic is we're going to move it to the URL and it should delete the topic so we're done deploy it clear it and inject and we can see here coming out at the end we've got the URL we haven't got a topic property here it's been deleted so that was the the move it does a, a copy and delete okay let's just go back and take another look at the change node and I want to look here with on the set and this makes a difference whether it's a set or the change and what we can do is we can work with strings, numbers, booleans, JSONs, uh, buffers, timestamps and expressions and the expressions one I'm going to show you now this is a very interesting one it uses a thing called uh, JSON Arta and I'll put a link uh, to the website uh, in the video description and what that does is it, it allows you to process JSON data so if you've got incoming JSON data uh, complex data you can process that you can filter it out and it's a very very powerful uh, processing language for want of a better word so let's scroll down to the bottom and this is the example and I'm starting with some JSON data and here it is here I've created that let's show you to here and it's just got it's an address book first name surname and address and this is deliberate because I've got a object inside an object now I'm going to set the message payload and I'm going to set it using the expression property here now I've already set the expression up and click there to edit it and this is the expression here I'm going to take out the surname and the sorry I'm going to take out the first name and the surname I'm going to add them together and I'm going to create a property called surname so this is the object the final object notice it's in quotes uh, sorry it's in brackets here and it's a there's the key and there's the value it consists of the payload first and the payload and the surname now very interesting thing about this is that you can test the data using this test button here you first copy the data what you want to or the incoming data to here and then you can enter your expression here and the results appear down here so let me just delete that and if I just type in surname there's no matching results because it's actually payload.surname and you can see if I do that the, the it's Smith now if I wanted to do the address and there's the address there if I wanted to extract the street I just put another dot and I put the street in there and there it appears there 
and done. And now if I deploy it, and then I inject, and here you can see here the payload is set to the name of the street here, King Street. Now, how do you get the data into the example message window? Well, the easiest way is to copy it from the debug node, and that is the reason why you can see I've got the uh, inject node going straight into the debug node and you can see the message appearing here and all I do now is to copy that and you see value copied and I'll show you it by putting it into notepad and there's the data there now all I do is instead of pasting into notepad I paste it into that message window I paste it into here okay so that's a very brief overview of using the expression property and using JSON Arta uh, to process JSON data so that completes a, a look at the change node. Uh, if you've um, got any comments on the video, then please leave them below. And if you like the video, then you can click the like button below. And if you want to get notified of new videos, then you can always subscribe to this channel. And if you do use social media and like to share it, then please feel free. And until next time, goodbye.